The economy is the single most important issue in any presidential election um, going back 50 or more years. So um, if you wanted to know the outcome of the 2008 election today, not even knowing who the candidates are likely to be, uh, we can look at the state of the economy and we can predict based on the fact that it is not growing at this point in time that uh, the Republican Party, the incumbent party, is not likely to win the 2008 election regardless of who the, the parties nominate. So even in the face of war, um, the Vietnam War, World War II, the Korean War, uh, any kind of international conflict, the economy is still the most important issue and it's for one single reason. Public opinion on the economy is never divided. People prefer prosperity to decline. There are four cases in the last 50 years of presidential elections where the party that is predicted to win based on the economy actually loses the election. Right? These are elections in which the, um, the candidates find messages that are very broad and very appealing to voters across a range of issues. So in 1960, John Kennedy talked about the missile gap um, and how America was falling behind the Russians in technology, in mathematics, um, in all sorts of things, literature, space exploration, and that we had to catch up. We had to catch up to the Russians. And it was Richard Nixon who had presided over this slump in our productivity, and there was nothing Nixon could do to counter that. And Kennedy is able to make that more important than the economy. But those kinds of campaigns are very rare. I think in the primaries, they have very little incentive to talk about the economy other than to say to people, you know, we're, we're going to address the situation and we're going to bring more dollars to your pockets. We rarely have debates in presidential campaigns about economic policy. We hear a lot about economic valence you've never had it so good, are you better off than you were four years ago? But we rarely hear specific policy t um, ideas discussed during presidential campaigns about the economy. So my sense is that right now the candidates are doing exactly what um, they'll continue to do throughout the general election, which is talk very generally and in very vague terms about how their party can deliver prosperity.